59 year old David James was brought here to this hospital and when he was found today by rescuers, he told them that he had been without food for five days and he didn't think he would have survived another 24 hours. Now, he had been hiking with 64 year old Marshall Cave, better known as Buster in his community. And tonight one of his close friends tells us how he's doing. A lot of people were concerned, but I've known Buster my whole life. And Buster grew up in the good old days in Darrington where people still canned everything. They picked berries. They lived off the land. I, I wasn't as concerned as most people because I felt he had the skills to survive. Uh, David, I didn't know David as well, but it sounds like they got separated and, and Marshall walked all the way out. And he went home and he says, I was fine. You know, he was good. He told me, he said he stopped and opened up an old rotten log, got him some protein on the way out, and it was no big deal. As long as I could remember, and, you know, when you're in survival mode and you know how to survive, it doesn't matter if you're eating grubs out of a log or, or whatever it takes. It's a relief, everybody in the community's happy. You know, here it's a tight-knit community. Everybody knows everybody, and when one of our own goes missing, the whole community feels it and it was a relief to the whole community. There were people cheering, honking horns. <laughs> it was quite the homecoming when he came home, you know. Now that was Buster's longtime friend, Andy West, you just heard from. Now the hikers, they left on Downey Creek Trail on August 16th. They were due home on August 23rd, and it was just a couple days ago that family members became very concerned and called 911. That launched a search and rescue operation with local law enforcement in Snohomish County and volunteers showing up and making sure that these hikers made it home. Live in Arlington, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.